Hello, welcome to my video on uh, van electrics. Um, here I describe what I did for my transit van. Um, first of all, I have to issue a disclaimer that this is not an instructional video. I can't accept responsibility for anything you take, and uh, if anything bad happens from watching this video, this is just a record of what I did, how I installed it, what I used. I um, strongly recommend you seek professional assistance if you want to install van electrics and don't have the experience, um, as it can be dangerous and um, you need to be very careful about uh, what what, uh, what you do. So to start with, the simplest arrangements would normally include a battery, a single battery connected via a voltage con uh, sensitive relay to the uh, van battery. Um, then at the back end you'd have your, convert your inverters to get uh, 20, 240 volts. You have a battery charger running and also an external hookup. So that's the simplest. I couldn't use this unfortunately because my, ba my van has two um, batteries so I decided to have a completely separate system which uh, is completely separated from the main except for the, uh, the bonding and grounding. Um, so here, here is a simple diagram I, I started with to try and work out the bits I needed and uh, from this I was able to then order the, the various components and the various thicknesses of wire um, because that is a, a key key factor and here is then a, a, a better description of it with um, as you can see the solar panel on the left connecting into a solar controller which then charges the battery alternatively you have a PCB external hookup using a, a feeding into a battery charger and then uh, that connecting to the batteries alternatively the um, PCB uh, will provide input to a, what's called a cam switch so that 240 volts can be provided uh, direct from the external hookup. Um, if the cam switch is switched the other way, then the inverter provides the 240 um, hookup. Uh, so there are two uh, batteries, a fuse box, a main switch, um, and uh, as you can see, the solar panel is fairly large. It's 1320 uh, mil by 990, uh, which is the perfect size for fitting on top of a transit van. Um, came. I had to get extra length wire to connect it in, but uh, there is the 110 amp uh, battery. I don't know if this is going to be any good. Uh, I haven't really put it under any stress, but uh, hopefully the two of them will be able to do what I need. This is a PCB. Ex this is part of the external hookup. Um, there are lots of videos on the internet about how these are connected. Again, this is one of those things you really need to know what you're doing. Uh, but if you buy it, if make sure you buy the right um, ampage. The flip switches come as B10s for 10 amp or B32s for 32 amp. So you need to get the right ones. Here is my first attempt to just test the solar um, controller and the PCB unit. Uh, a cam switch is connected in. It's all a bit messy because I'm you know, just testing the functionality of it um, and it will work fine. It's important not to uh, connect up the solar panel unless the controller is connected to a battery. Um, so most of the time my solar panel is, is actually disconnected on the roof um, because uh, for various reasons you don't want to have them in shadow and not being used. The um, wiring in the van was a mixture of 240 and 12 volts um, so from one side of the van at the front I then um, have cables going up along and across the, using the struts um, I use a piece of plastic like a big needle to thread the, uh, the wire through the struts and um, that worked fine I managed to get all the wire through the struts so it's all, none of it's visible and um, it's all nicely tucked away. Um, that uh, so that worked out pretty well. Um, and here you can see the um, uh, two uh, 12 volt wires. Um, you're probably wondering why there's no black one. That's because the black earth side is actually connected to the panel near the where the LED is. So it's earthed via the chassis, um, the 12 volt system, um, and. Uh, here is a more fully um, set up two battery system where you've got now the battery charger in the middle and to the right you can't quite see it is the inverter so that is pretty much um, as it ended up although I did tidy up the wiring a bit um, it is quite fiddly getting the right length of wire and also you have to use the right um, thickness of wire for, for, for uh, 
uh, various components. Um, here is the final layout. I've moved the um, battery charger onto a platform and, and the inverter is to far to the right um, out of the way. It's actually behind the um, fridge. Um, you need to have some good clearance around it to, to so it doesn't overheat. Um, but uh, you can see there the, the, the fuse panel uh, with all the 12 volt connections coming out of it. Um, and one of the things I did was use an existing light fitting and inserted a, a rocker switch in, into it and that is the uh, on-off switch for the LED above this uh, unit. Um, so I was quite pleased with that, worked quite well. And this is what it looks like with the door open and the panel removed um, and the fridge there is the 12 volt compressor fridge. Um, you can actually get to the uh, van batteries on the left of the uh, leisure batteries. Um, so that's all nicely tucked away. It is a bit, bit of a squeeze to get all that down there, um, and uh, but that's it.